my yarny friends, my name is Crystal, and I decided to do the 20 question challenge. <laughs> um, I wasn't tagged by anybody that I'm aware of. Um, I typically am not one to crash the party. <laughs> I don't do things unless I'm invited, but um, you know, this year has been a year of challenging myself and doing things outside of my comfort zone. So, um, and I know the Canadian crocheter and um, Deb and oh, somebody else, Terry, at Yarn Joy Podcast. Oh, I hope I said that right. They weren't tagged, but they did it. So I'm like, okay. And I've been wanting to do it. Um, and prepped to do it a couple times, but I just been really bad the last few days, unfortunately. So, um, but I'm having a little grim glimpse of feeling okay. <laughs> I got a shower, so yay. So I'm going to do the questions. Um, so my, the first question is, what does your name mean? And I had to look it up. I have never looked up the meaning of my name. And it means follower of Christ. I was like, yay. <laughs> I was so excited. I texted uh, my son and, um, and my daughter-in-law. I'm like, hey, next kid you have, it should be Crystal. If you have a girl. I was just teasing. Um, they're doing ease. But um, <laughs> I was, I love the um, definition of my name. So I was excited. Um, the next one is, where are you from? I am currently from Washington State. Um, I've lived in Washington before. Um, and then the next one is, where were you born? And I was born in Oregon. So I'm not too far. <laughs> Pretty close to where I was born. Um, the next one is, what would your parents have named you if you had been a boy? Um, I have no idea, but it would have been a C name. Um, we are all C's, Carrie, Chris, and Crystal. So, um, my dad's name was Charles, but my mom's name isn't a C. <laughs> I don't know why they decided to go with C, but they did, so it would have been a C. Um, what is your biggest accomplishment? And I'm going to have to say my children. Um, I know most people aren't saying that, or a lot of people, not everyone. Um, but my children are my biggest accomplishment, and um, I love being a mom. Um, I was a stay-at-home mom for a lot of their lives, except for my youngest. That was a bummer. Um, he really struggled with me having to go to work. Um, and with his Asperger's, it was not pretty. <laughs> but uh, but we did it. We pushed through. He, you know, he's growing up to, or he, you know, he's a 23. <laughs> Um, but he's doing so well. He, he truly has worked real hard on him to make eye contact and um, to get outside his comfort zone. And he's just doing fantastic. Um, the next one is, what is your eye color? It is blue. <laughs> I like it. So I don't remember who it was. They were like, yeah, when it rains, my eyes are brown. And then when I wear another color, my eyes are brown. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> yeah, mine are blue no matter what. <laughs> um, what is your favorite candle scent? Well, unfortunately, um, I have multiple chemical sensitivities, so I can't do any scents in anything. My whole house is 100% fragrance-free. Scents make me physically sick really bad. Like, I feel like I'm going to throw up, brutal migraine, feel like I got the flu. Um, but if I was able to have a candle, I would like 
something that's homey, like vanilla or cookie scents, you know, something like the smell of baking, you know, apple pie or cinnamon rolls. Um, I love to bake. I haven't got to bake in many years, but I love to bake. So, um, yeah, it would be fun to have those scents in the house. Um, can you cook? I can cook okay. My kids would say I could cook because they grew up with whatever I cooked. But, um, you know, unfortunately, with them growing up, um, I was kind of or I was picky then, so I didn't cook with garlic and onion and stuff like that. And now I do. I, I can't imagine not cooking with fresh garlic and fresh onion. And um, I didn't like hardly any vegetables. Now I love vegetables. Like, I love roasted vegetables. They're, like, my favorite. Um, but I don't get to do a lot of cooking because you have to stand. <laughs> so my cooking abilities have diminished. And if I was healthier, they would probably have gotten better because it would have been fun. Um, but baking, that's my thing. Love to bake. Um, now I've lost track of where I am. Uh, what is good about your life right now? Well, I'm grateful that I, I don't have to work. Well, I couldn't work, but um, you know that that we're financially okay, that I don't have to work. Um, so I'm very, very that grateful, and that's good. My husband loves me, um, regardless of how sick I am and my inability to keep the house clean like I used to. Um, he just, he loves me. So that's fantastic in my life, you know, him. He, he loves me. I'm going to get emotional. <sighs> he just is, yeah. You know, a lot of people who are as sick as I am, husbands, wives, leave their spouses. And, um, you know, I get pretty, I mean, you guys see me when, I've prepped all day. Like, I've struggled all day. I've needed to shower. My hair was scary. <laughs> I just showered and um, he still loves me even if I need to shower and look bad and I apologize and he's like you're beautiful I love you <laughs> so that's what's really good in my life um, what is your sign I am a cancer is born uh, I was born in July, so I laugh. I'm like, I'm a crab. <laughs> I'm crappy. No, I'm not. <laughs> Doesn't fit my personality, typically. <laughs> what scares you about aging? I feel like I'm there already. I feel like I'm 92. Um, I did senior care, and um, for a few years, I didn't... I'm more in the senior care. I would go um, clean their home, do grocery shopping, cook, take them to doctor's appointments. Um, one guy, Richard, he was like my grandfather. I adored him. Um, when I went to his house for the first time, he just had paperwork everywhere. And... Um, so with his permission, I said, can I help you with your mail? And he said, yes. And he had like $10,000 in medical bills and I'm a number cruncher. So, um, with his permission and he would give me permission, I would call people and come to find out he had a secondary insurance that they didn't know about. So I had to make all these phone calls and got it down to a couple hundred dollars. So I did things like that, but there was one lady, um, so I didn't do physical stuff. You know, I wasn't trained for that or anything. But one lady, I went to her house and um, she was bedridden and um, had to change her bedding and change her and help clean her up. And had never done anything like that before. That scares me. And that feels like a big reality for me. So... <laughs> That's a hard one. Um, whew, 
gonna have to get past that one. <laughs> a lot scares me about aging just because I feel like I'm going through that already. <laughs> and I'm still young. Ah. Okay, ooh, something fun. <laughs> something fun. Um, what's your favorite holiday? And that would be Christmas. <laughs> I love Christmas. Love it. I'd love to decorate. I decorate everywhere I can decorate. <laughs> I decorate. Um, I love my Christmas tree. Um, I love, I haven't got to in many years, but my kids grow, grew up with me baking sugar cookies and we would cut them out and I would make cream sheet, um, cream cheese frosting ooh, so good on your sugar cookies and um, they would decorate them they grew up decorating sugar cookies for different holidays but I love buying presents um, I used to be really good at giving presents um, and thoroughly enjoyed it and now it's like Amazon <laughs> it's like I used to love shopping because I you know I loved buying people things so um but I'm not there's no way I can make it through a mall um so um but Christmas I love Christmas um and my gingerbread house <laughs> um what's your guilty pleasure oh my goodness it is yarn it's yarn I love yarn I've never ever in my life been addicted to anything, but I'm addicted to yarn. <laughs> uh, I love it. I, it. It's been a lifesaver to me, a game changer. Um, I just spent so many years bedridden and um, it helps so much. I love yarn. <laughs> And chocolate. I have chocolate every day. I even crocheted a little, I have a cart and I crocheted a little basket that has my dark chocolate in there. <laughs> I keep thinking I'll show you guys my cart. I don't know if you guys care to see it or not. That's why I haven't done it. You know, I get a little insecure and I'm like, maybe you guys don't want to see this cart that I have yarn all over <laughs> and that I crocheted a basket to store my chocolate in. <laughs> Uh, so yarn and chocolate. What is your favorite show to bend, binge watch? I don't really watch much um, um, sound, um, visual stuff can stress out my body and I can start to tremor if I get too much stimulation. Um, but my favorite ones have been Downton Abbey. And, and I've been to High Clare Castle last year. I did. I went there. <laughs> we were in England. We were in London. And it was like an hour and a half away. And um, that's when I started tremoring is pushing myself to go on this. It was my husband had work to do. And, um, but we got to go there. I didn't get to go upstairs because unfortunately I started tremoring. It was just too much, but I have video. I don't know if you guys would ever want to see the, the video of us. We were outside. You didn't get a video tape inside, but outside we have video of us out on the grounds waiting. <laughs> um, I like Friends. I like Gilmore Gil Girls is one of my favorite. I like the Big Bang Theory. So those are um, a few of my favorites. Um, what is one thing you can't leave the house without? I actually have three. If I didn't have my phone, if I didn't have money, that would, you know, I'd be okay. But I can't leave the house without my medicine, water, and food. So the water and the food to take my medicine. <laughs> those are, I mean, anytime I leave the house, I have to make sure that I have those three items. Um, are you a morning person or a night owl? I used to be a night owl and not a no morning person, and now I'm neither. <laughs> mornings are rough it takes me a couple hours to get going and evenings are rough because I start to feel really bad because I've been up all day <laughs> so, 
so tell me there but it used to be a night owl and I used to love to sleep in Ugh. now sleeping so hard <laughs> it's hard to do um, what is your favorite genre of movie and that would be a comedy or romantic comedy or action I love like um, oh, Jiminy Crickets like the Avengers and uh, things like that and I can't pull it up <laughs> and romantic comedies um, what is the last thing you bought? Hmm. I, either it was something to clean my new iron, the outside of it that I got off of Amazon, or it could have been, um, I got a little bit more candy for my gingerbread house at the Dollar Tree because I decided what I needed for my what, how I'm gonna do my roof and so I needed a little bit more and I got that yesterday and I don't know which one it was one or the other um, are you an introvert or an extrovert and I'm definitely an introvert I am not the life of the party I'm more of the wallflower um, you know shy timid um, but I'm loyal kind, giving, loving, loyal, <laughs> I mean, true, you know, yep, yeah. but by, you know, but being an introvert and then being so sick, it just makes it way worse. Like I have a hard time emailing people and just have anxiety <laughs> over that. I have a hard time writing people so the YouTube has been huge for me to get me out of my shell um, I had really really bad social anxiety after spending a year and a half completely bedridden staring at a wall my social anxiety was through the roof like my husband couldn't believe I started a YouTube channel <laughs> he was like shocked but again, I'm trying to do things out of my comfort zone. And, um, you know, us women, we're relational. And I need uh, relationships with other women, you know. And um, so this has been a fantastic way to do it, considering, you know, I can't get out much. So I appreciate you guys so much. And if I sometimes struggle to... You know, I take a little bit longer to reply. It's just sometimes, like, I just really struggle with words <laughs> and insecurity. Um, what's your favorite book? Well, I'm a Christian, so my ultimate favorite book is the Bible. Um, though I really struggle reading that right now. Um, I struggle with it so much. Um... And I struggle reading in general, but my I do have an all-time outside of the Bible favorite book ever. And I typically don't read books over and over again, um, but this book I've read maybe three times and I'd love to read it again. And it's called Edge of Eternity by Roger El Elridge. Roger El Elridge. Darn it. I hope I got the name right. <laughs> I'll have to look it up and put it in the district description box just in case somebody's interested but um I don't know if everybody would like it because it's very metaphorical and I'm hoping I'm using that term correctly um they um so what I like about it is I'll give you one little part of it um like how he's into these metaphors as this guy's traveling to the city he's trying to get to the city and um, in one of the, not episode, but one of the parts, chapters in the book, he comes across, so he's traveling like on this dirt road with other people and stuff, and um, he comes across a prison, a small little teeny prison, and he noticed the door is just a little bit open. So he goes there and he kind of pushes on the door, and then he's like, he opens the door and he walks in and he goes, you're free, you're free. He's so excited. And then there's a couple prisoners sitting there and they go, man, 
I get so tired of those Christians, you know, sitting there touting about how they're free or you can be free or something like I'm not doing it justice. And then um, another guy kind of like questions it and kind of walks towards the door and then he walks outside and he's like, I'm free. You know? <laughs> he's free of his prison cell. So it's full of stuff like that. And, I, you know, my husband, he tried to read it and he didn't enjoy it. And I don't think he finished it. But I loved it. It's my favorite book ever outside of the Bible. So those are my 20 questions, or the 20 questions. And um, I thought I would tag a few people that um, I, I, I don't think that they've done the, the 20 questions yet. Or at least I, I looked real quick to see. Um, and maybe they've been tagged and I don't know it. And they just don't want to do it. But I was going to tag them anyways. <laughs> For any way. <laughs> um, I tag Dora at that yarny zebra. I tag Julie at kept in stitches. I tag Denise at Black Ribbon Studio. And I tag Carol Beck. Um, so I really, really enjoy watching and listening to other people's 20 questions. Um, you know, it's fun to get to know people. I still have more I want to watch, but I don't, I can't watch a whole bunch of, um, audio visual stuff in a day. So I try really, really hard to, you know, watch people's vlogs. Um, because I truly enjoy it. I love seeing yarn. I love seeing finished objects. I love seeing like other hobbies and crafts that people do. I enjoy it so much. Um, I thank you guys all for watching. Um, and I hope you guys are doing well and um, having lots and lots of yarny goodness in your day. I will talk to you later. Bye.